Good day. In this video, we're going to look at this quadratic sequence problem. It's a level 3 to 4 question. We're going to explain one method that you could have used to solve this problem. It was worth 6 marks. Let's read it together. It says, a quadratic sequence with a general term Tn has the following properties. Term 11 is 125 and Tn minus Tn minus 1 is 3n minus 4. Determine the first term of the sequence. So they gave us one of the terms in this quadratic sequence and they gave us a formula for the first difference. And what you need to get your head around is that the n over there and the n over there is the same value. Let's plan quickly. So we have a quadratic sequence with term 1, term 2, we don't know, 3, 4 and so on, but we do know term 11 is 125. So in the top row we have our terms. Then they told us that it is a quadratic sequence with the general term Tn. And this is the general term of a quadratic sequence. They also told us that the formula of the first difference is 3n minus 4. So we also have a formula to help us in this row over here. In a quadratic pattern we usually go term 2 minus term 1, term 3 minus term 2, term 4 minus term 3 to get the sequence of the first differences. They told us this first difference, Tn minus Tn minus 1, is 3n minus 4. So now we're going to work out, using this formula, over here, the first first difference. You know that T2 minus T1 gives us our first first difference. This is the formula that they gave us, which is the same as this, 3n minus 4. The question is, what must I place in the place of this n now to find the answer? You must put a 2 in there. So 3 times 2 is 6 minus 4 gives us 2. So the first first difference between the first two terms is 2. Term 2 minus term 1 is 2. Now we work out the second first difference. So I wrote it out for us. Term 3 minus term 2 the same as what they gave us in the formula, Tn minus Tn minus 1. And then we can use this formula, 3n minus 4. But what must we plug into the place of this n? Yes, it is a 3. So 3 times 3 is 9, minus 4 is 5. That is our second first difference. Let's work out the third first difference now. We can do it with 3 times 4 minus 4. And that gives us 8. Now we can work out our constant difference by taking this minus this. That will give us a 3. 5 minus 2 is 3 and 8 minus 5 is 3. It is a quadratic pattern. Our second difference is a constant. If you really understand your linear patterns, you could also have seen the 3 over there. Now we have our constant difference and we have our first first difference. Using our formula of the constant difference 2a equals to 3, I can work out the value of a is 3 over 2. Using the formula of our first first difference, which is 3a plus b, I make it equal to 2, the first first difference. Substitute this a back in there and work out the value of b is minus 2,5. I told you this is 11, 3 or 4 question, so I assume you understand what I'm doing from here on. We take our formula of the general term of a quadratic sequence, substitute the a we worked out in there, substitute the b we worked out in there. We know that the 11th term is 125, so I write 125 over here. The n is 11, the n is 11, and now we can work out c. Use a calculator and you get the answer c is minus 29. Now we have the formula for Tn for this sequence, fully worked out, and I can work out anything I want from here. The question asked, work out the first term. So just substitute a 1 in there and there. So term 1, put a 1 there and there like I said, and you work it out, so term 1 is minus 30. Please stop the video and get your brain around this technique. Please indicate whether you liked or disliked the video and subscribe to the channel. 
If you run into a sequence or series problem that you have trouble solving, you can send a clear WhatsApp photo of your problem to this number and a clear WhatsApp photo of where you tried it. Then we will try and help and send back an answer to you as soon as possible. Enjoy sequences and series.